Hello, it's nice to have an opportunity to join you all. It's always a pleasure to speak to people from the Ocean State. I grew up in Eastern Connecticut, so not far from Rhode Island. I ended up going to grad school to study coral reef conservation. So this was back in the early 90s before uh, climate change driven coral bleaching had really sealed the fate for coral reefs. Um, it wasn't in the curricu curriculum at all at that point, but now we know that climate change is likely to pretty much eliminate the entire ecosystem of coral reefs, uh, depending on how old you are, possibly in your lifetime. Climate change is, is not something that's coming or that we need to plan for or try to prevent. It's, it's been with us for a while. It's impacting entire ecosystems. Um, it's certainly a factor for human health. It's one of the biggest national security concerns that we have. When we think about plastic, you know, most of us think about sea turtles with straws up their noses or whales washing up on beaches with stomachs full of plastic. But it's also part of the answer to climate change. It's also an impact on human health. At this point, we've put so much plastic into our environment that it's in the food that we eat, the water that we drink, and even the air that we breathe. It's a problem starting with fracking that provides the feedstock for plastic. And then there are serious health impacts for the communities, especially communities of color near the refineries where, um, you know, where plastic is made. There are a couple of great opportunities for us to move things forward quickly in the next couple of years. One is the Break Free from Plastic Pollution Act here in the US. So um, support from Senator Whitehouse and others go a long way in making, making that a reality. We also need to reverse the position taken by the Trump administration and make the US a champion at conversations in the United Nations on creating a new binding global plastic treaty. This will be a very powerful step forward. As serious as a problem as climate change is and plastic pollution is for our oceans, so far, the biggest damage that we've done to our ocean has been through industrial fishing. For most of human existence, we fished in small boats or even off the shore of the small communities that we lived. Now we fish in the Arctic, we fish off of Antarctica in the middle of the Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean. We're using boats the size of ocean liners that can catch the Statue of Liberty or 747s. Um, there's literally no place left in the world's oceans for fish to hide. So it's really important for us to make sure that people wanting to buy seafood here in the United States don't need to worry whether it was caught in a way that's damaging the environment or caught by slave labor. So I think there's a lot that we can do in Congress to uh, beef up the seafood import monitoring program, for example, and making sure that it applies to all types of seafood. And that will be good for the US seafood industry as well as for global fisheries. One of the most exciting opportunities we have in front of us to protect our oceans and really all of us is that the United Nations is negotiating a new global ocean treaty if we get this right, it'll enable us to scale up sanctuaries for the first time. Ocean sanctuaries are the best tool that we have to protect biodiversity, to rebuild depleted populations, and to increase the resiliency of marine ecosystems, to give them a better chance to survive the impacts of things like climate change, pollution, and ocean acidification. Most scientists agree that we need to protect at least 30% of the world's oceans by 2030. At the moment, we're somewhere around the 2% mark. At the end of the day, we live on the water planet. The health of all of us is inextricably linked to the health of the ocean. Fortunately, some of the most important solutions are the most straightforward. We just need to act. We have some very powerful opportunities ahead of us and the next four years are going to be critical. Thank you again for allowing me to join you all today.